This is Josh Sibley, head scout with Louisiana Greyhound Football. Join me today, Cameron Dartes, quarterback in Catholic High School. So, Cam, what do you love about football? Uh, I love the competitive nature the game brings. I love scoring touchdowns, uh, celebrating my, with my teammates after, and definitely winning. That's the best part. Speaking of winning, uh, what, how, did, uh, how did you guys do last year? Uh, we did very well. We went 7-3 and three in the regular season and then ended up winning all four games in the playoffs and coming on top against Curtis for a state championship. And how did you do in that state championship game? I did really well. I threw for over 200 yards and uh, rushed for around 100 or so and ended up winning MVP in the state championship. It's pretty impressive. So how did you prepare uh, to, to attain that? Uh, just staying focused throughout the season. Uh, biggest key is uh, not getting too complacent with the wins, the big wins. Just always staying motivated and uh, doing my job to help my teammates the best and preparing through film, practice, never taking any reps off in the weight room or anywhere. Speaking of big wins, Zachary, tell me about that game. In Zachary, we had a great game plan going in. Uh, all we had to do is execute, and we were the underdog going in, but... Uh, all of our players stayed focused. Uh, I ended up throwing for 200 yards and rushing for another 120. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely shocked a lot of people throughout that game. Mm -hmm. And the uh, biggest thing about that game was uh, possession of the ball. We dominated in possession. Mm -hmm. uh, they made mistakes, and we took advantage of those. Mm -hmm. Zachary had one of the better ranked defenses in the state this year. Um, tell me about how you guys uh, – uh, overcame some of their mistakes in that game? Uh, through film, we got a good idea of their tendencies on defense and kind of picked them apart through those tendencies mm -hmm. and just staying focused, take care of the football, and make good decisions throughout the game. Speaking of film study, uh, what's one of your favorite plays and why? Our forward vertical play that we have some options on uh, depending on the coverage. So if there's two high safeties, our guys can curl it up or some. Or if it's one high, they can just stay vertical. And kind of that's the play that we rep the most. So I think we're all on the same page with that play. And that's killed some defenses, especially last year. Mm -hmm. Now, is that is that based on what the wide receiver sees? Or is that based on what you see? Or do you guys have any, any secret? Well, not trying to get into, into your playbook too deep, but is that based on what you guys have talked about? We've repped it so many times that we're both always on the same page, if it's one high or two high or whatever coverage it is. Mm -hmm. So I think it just becomes second nature to all of us because we've been throwing together for the past four years, so we've been quite used to it. Oh, great. Tell me about your grades. Uh, how have you, you performed in school this, uh, this past year? I've done pretty well in school. I currently maintain a 3.7 GPA, and I have a 24 on my ACT. Excellent. And that, that's an overall GPA, or is that just this past year? Uh, overall. Overall, excellent. Mm -hmm. What would your teacher say about you? Uh, they would say I'm a great student. I'm definitely a leader in the classroom. I help others mm -hmm. do get through their work. I, I'm definitely a great example of what a student athlete is supposed to look like. Oh. Uh, are you involved in any um, extracurricular activities outside of football? Yes, uh, sir. I play baseball, and I'm an FCA. Okay. And for those of uh, for those of our audience that may not know what FCA is, it's a uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Do you want, maybe want to talk about that? Uh, it's a great club. It definitely it gets you some time to relax and get off the of sports and just kind of look at the the athlete life through faith and mm -hmm. how to be a better leader and a better Christian athlete. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. What would some of your teammates uh, say about you? They would definitely say that I'm one of the hardest workers on the team. Mm -hmm. They'd say I'm a leader, and they know that I would fight for them through anything. Okay. And uh, speaking of fighting, how have how's your uh, how have you guys bonded through your off season uh, preparation, your off season workouts? Mm -hmm. So we've we lost some defensive guys, but on the offense we returned I think seven out of our ten starters. So we already have a great bond. It's just kind of teaching the younger guys the ropes. So if one of us goes down, that they they can just pick up right where we left off, mm -hmm. and they won't miss a beat. And your, your coaches, what uh, what would your coaches say about you? They would also say that I'm one of the hardest workers on the team, and they know that they could put me out against anyone, and I won't I won't uh, fear anyone. I would fight for 
everyone on the team and uh, definitely be one of the hardest competitors out there. What, what do you personally, how, how do you personally uh, show that you're a competitor on the field? I never give up, no matter what the circumstances. Fourth quarter, we're down, or fourth quarter, we're way up. I'm still going to get full throttle, mm -hmm. uh, taking no one lightly, mm -hmm. and uh, fighting through adversity, no matter what which has happened. Throw an interception, throw a touchdown, just keeping the same focus that I always have. Mm -hmm. So let's say you guys are down in the fourth quarter. What do you what do you do personally to get your team motivated back in to, to win the game? Uh, just tell and keep motivated that we're not going to lose. Going through go against Parkview, we're down by a touchdown or less than a touchdown. I think four points, mm -hmm. and there's 40 seconds on the clock, and we have to go the whole field. Mm -hmm. I told them we're not losing this game. We mm -hmm. go down, I throw a 70 yard pass, goes out of bounds on the 10. And then two plays later, we throw the game winning touchdown with no time on the clock to win. So that was a great moment. That's it. That is great. So, but you you threw it, not we threw it. You threw it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So, what was that feeling like? I mean, being down by four, 40 seconds left. That's Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Joe Montana. So tell me about that. It was the best feeling ever, especially since it was the first game. We had to. It, it was a good like set, set up the tone for the season. Mm -hmm. So winning that game was huge. And I just remember everyone dogpiling on our receiver mm -hmm. after, and it was just amazing. What type of player would a college be getting out of you if, if they offered you? A leader that is very tough and gritty, mm -hmm. that won't ever give up, mm -hmm. and a competitor that would compete with anyone that I match up it with. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely a person that would make a locker room a better place. Uh, competitively and environmentally. So, would you be the type of person that would go in and, and, and definitely try to compete for the starting job day one as a freshman? Yes, sir, definitely. How's your recruiting been uh, this, this past summer? I have one offer from Texas Westland in Fort Worth, mm -hmm. and then I've been visiting a lot of the Southland Conference schools like mm -hmm. Nichols, Southeastern, mm -hmm. Incarnate Word, McNeese, and I've definitely gotten a lot of interest from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, how's your camp? camps uh, been? Mm -hmm. I camped at a lot of those same schools. Mm -hmm. and they definitely went well, got some good feedback, mm -hmm. and uh, just, just got to showcase my talents. Mm -hmm. have, you, have you learned anything from those camps Did you, that you may not have learned, that you may not have known before you went? Uh, yeah, I've definitely learned how to connect with coaches a lot better mm -hmm. just through experience and getting to meet them. Mm -hmm. It's definitely helped me with relationships. Anything uh, technique-wise? Um, not really. I learned most of that stuff from my quarterback coach at school, mm -hmm. but they say from the feedback I get, they all say my lower half is really good mm -hmm. and that my upper half is fine too. Okay. Tell me, what are your measurable? Your height, weight, uh, bench press, squat, what are, things like that. I am six foot one. I weigh 190. I bench 205. Mm -hmm. Squatted 315. And I power clean 225. What was your 40 time? Around low four sevens. This past year, when Catholic made their their playoff run, you guys were pretty much underdogs in all those games. Tell me about those. So St. Aug was definitely one of the best atmospheres I've ever played in. They travel well. Their fans, their their band was incredible. Mm -hmm. It was one of the loudest games I played in, and uh, it was a dog fight. We ended up winning 7-3, just warm out throughout the game. Mm -hmm. Our whole offense did a great job of staying focused, not getting frustrated with the results mm -hmm. of each drive, just staying focused and eventually we came out on top. Mm -hmm. And then Evangel, that was something. We went up to Shreveport mm -hmm. and they were, they were the heavy favorite by far. They had all mm -hmm. kinds of D1 commits all over the field. Mm -hmm. But um, we definitely stuck together as a team and had to fight that one out too. No one thought we were going to win. We ended up shocking everyone. Mm -hmm. So we ended up winning that, had an off week that we needed, mm -hmm. definitely healed a bunch of guys. And we came into the state championship more prepared than any other game that we've ever played because we had an extra week. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't about preparation, it was just about executing at that point. And we went in there, had a great performance. I ended up being state championship MVP. Tell me about some of the accolades that you've uh, had uh, this past season. So I won the WFB Player of the Week twice, the first time against Zachary. Mm -hmm. I had a great game, 200 yard, over 200 yards passing, over 100 rushing, mm -hmm. three touchdowns. And then uh, against Turlins, I had 
330 some yards passing mm -hmm. and I ended up being about four yards short of the school record mm -hmm. and I only played one drive in the fourth quarter so oh, wow. I guess to show you that I could have had it but it just pulled me right away oh. Oh. we had a big lead well maybe maybe this year you'll you could mm -hmm. break that record yes sir um, and uh, you also said you were the uh, MV the state championship MVP this year. Yes, sir. I was the MVP of state championship for over 200 yards mm -hmm. and rushed for a few. And then baseball, I was all district and all metro mm -hmm. my junior year. If you liked the video, please subscribe below. If you'd like to read more articles about athletes like Cameron, please subscribe to the magazine. Thank you.